Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 33 with a match between, once again, Monkey and Cybernetic Pony, but this time on Onyx Canyon. And this map is one I have gone over. It was in the tournament, but I will go over it again. So, Monkey starting on the southwest side of the map. Cybernetic Pony in the northeast side of the map. Cybernetic Pony over CISO. Monkey going, of course, for Vekir. So, we'll just wait for that to happen. Or, wait, maybe not. Well, he probably is going for back here. Anyway, so this map is big. As you can see, it is a big map. Go over the observer view to have everyone's vision. Anyway, this is a large map. You have not a whole lot of resources, though. And it's mostly long more than anything else. So you have your main base, southwest, northeast, three and two. It'll expand two and one expansion in the center. And this is just unusable terrain. A few choke points around the center as well, just to make navigation a little bit more tactical. And other two-in-one expansions over in the center. And another, and it mirrors as well. So it's a very resource-scarce map. Very resource-starved. I don't expect this game to last a particularly long time, but I do expect it to be fairly fierce. And Monkey is, in fact, going for Grekim. Interesting. This is definitely an odd switch for him. I'm not sure why he's designed to do that, but it's, it's different, that's for sure. Oh, okay, Monkey apparently is mentioning that this game is one where he, to quote, potatoes. I did not realize potato was a verb, but frankly, that is my own fault. I really dropped the ball on that one. However, he also apparently doesn't know how to Grek him. And the answer is start with an octopod, get a million pods, chronoport them back as far back as you can, and do that over and over and over until you win. And if you're really clever, make it so they never leave. So you have infinite pharopods. And that is how you Grek'em. Cybernetic Pony, however, is going CISO, and he knows how to CISO. So I see no reason to explain how to CISO. Actually, there are many ways to CISO. And, of course, I was joking about, about Grek'em. There are different ways to Grek'em as well. But, yeah, he is going for an early Lancer attack. Well, early Lancer scout. Good choice, but yeah, Lancers are... I mean, scout units, that's what they do. They scout things. And in this case, he's going to be scouting out what's... Summoning Pony has set up, which is, well, going for Grekum and probably going to harass more than anything. Get get these resources out. I mean, he does have a Seppi to contend with if Monkey does lift it up. One important thing about Grekum is that you want to make sure that you are lifting up your main duo if you have to. There are times where you have to, and when you have to, lift it up. Jumping back about three minutes, Monkey is going for economy here. Actually, when Summoning Pony is. Oh, Monkey just hasn't had a chance to act yet. He's chosen his species, and nothing is propagated from this point on. So the Lancer does see what's going on, and Monkey will know that Cybernetic Pony is going for CISO if he does check the damage, but I don't think he's concerned. It's far in the future, and he probably assumes Cybernetic Pony is going for CISO, because Cybernetic Pony has a tendency to do so, but then again, Cybernetic Pony also has a tendency to go for Grekum, so... Monkey actually doesn't know. He, and I don't know if this match was played without audio. It's one thing about the most recent patch, because of the audio change that that basically you can set it up so that audio does not go through Fog of War, but that's an option. I'm assuming that option was left off. I'm assuming that it was set up so that audio does not per per does not travel through Fog of War. You can't hear things that you can't see. I'm guessing that was the case. In which case, Monku, you won't know what... Well, he will know now, because he does see the infantry, but he wouldn't necessarily have known before what Cybernetic Pony was playing. But he probably assumes he's so. Anyway, Monkey is... Building a lot of RPs. He has not... Okay, he has built an Octopod. There we go. That is step one. He built the Octopods. Good. Or an Octopod. Only one. You only need the one. You don't need multiples. Multiples are kind of nice, but you need the one. And Cybernetic Pony going for a wall-off with comm centers. He did this in the tournament as well, and this will not actually be a full wall-off, but it will restrict definitely legal class units, but also pod class units. Octopods cannot walk in. Now, against Grekim... If you are worried about an Octoligo rush, or an Octoligo attack, this would make sense. But, on the other hand, against pod class units, Grekim's just going to use Pharopod. So, I don't know, this isn't the best strategy against Grekim. It's really probably a best strategy against CISO. For anyone who's fighting against CISO, using comm hubs or senders or mounds in order to avoid getting hit, in order to wall off, that's not a bad idea. But... For CISO against anything other than CISO, I don't know. Vekir can teleport over it, although they have to actually get, skip teleport, 
and Gretkin will probably just send flying units in. Though it does, of course, limit an Octo Octopod Rush, which in itself is fairly valuable. Though, honestly, you probably could just defend it anyway. Like, this isn't balanced around trying to wall off against Octo Octopod Rushes. There's enough tools you'll have in time. Anyway, Cybering Pony going for ATCs. He will be able to... Looks like he's just dealing with the Arcticus first, trying to prevent it from scouting his base. Not a bad idea. At the same time, Monkey does have Octobot. He does have another Arcticus. Or, wait. This is the same Arcticus. He has not moved the Arcticus this time around. He does have Octos, and he is not quickly getting Reefs from the looks of it. He might be pretty soon, though. He needs to just... Well, okay. Lifting up his triad. Not sure what the motivation there is, but looks like he's trying to go to expand with the triad. Or at least get out of the main base to avoid getting attacked. Which isn't a terrible idea, I suppose, but at the same time, he needs tech. Or possibly more resources, one of the two. Cybernate Pony at this point does have a stronger economy. At this exact point in time, Cybernate Pony does have 8 RPs, 2 Monkukis, 6. That is a big difference. At the same time, Monkuki is not leaving himself vulnerable to anything coming in. His units have walked away. Actually, is he going for a pro- I think he's going for a proxy. I think he might be going for a late proxy, which wouldn't make any sense. But then he did say he doesn't know how to Grek him, and that he... He potatoed. So, this may be exactly how he did so. No, he's going for an expansion. He is, in fact, just taking the center eastern expansion. That is... Still a little bit risky, just because of the fact that his main base is completely open right now. And this isn't Kratoria, where you can get away with that sort of thing. This is Onyx Canyon, where there really isn't any room to do much of anything. Frankly. Oh, yeah, Monku is pointing out it was the reef. He didn't know that the reef was the thing he needed to do. Or at least when he needed to do it. And that. That unfortunately is a big deal, yeah. Reef! Build a reef. Place the reef, put it down, make advanced structures, go to the Faro, make a spire, once you get advanced structures, and then kill everything with Faro pods. And Seppi pods. But mostly Faro pods. Oh yeah, I forgot you needed Reefs. Yes, Grekum is odd like that. You need Reefs to attack. But then again, Monkuki doesn't play Grekum, so that's cutting up a bit of slack. Still, though, Lancer. This Lancer's doing probably more damage than it really deserves to, honestly. I mean, this is just... This Lancer. I don't think it should be dealing that much damage. I mean, it's getting rid of an Octo outright. The Octopod here... Okay, the Octopod will get rid of it pretty effectively. But even then, this Lancer is going to get rid of the Octo, and that Octo won't have much of a chance to... Or will it have a chance to build attack? No, it probably will. It probably it will be able to get a Seppi up. But Monkuki, I don't think, does that. Or he does! Okay, never mind. He does do that. He probably will get a Reef. He probably will get tech eventually. Just more a question of what, knowing when to do it. Because now he... Now would have been a pretty good time for... Tech or... Yeah, okay. Octopods. So the Seppi, is it going to build a Reef? Or is it just going to be used for anti-air? And it looks like it's the latter! Anti-air all the way. Get rid of that pesky Lancer, and then die in the process to ATHCs in an embarrassing fashion. That's what he's going to do. At the same time, Sovereign Pony is going for getting rid of the crates, as he off especially in this map. This is actually a really good map for doing that, given the dearth of crates on this map. Everyone that's killed is a massive loss for your opponent. Assuming you didn't want to expand in that particular area, which Sovereign Pony clearly does not. But yeah, that is a huge loss. That is half, of the, or that's a third of the resources that Monkey could have used pretty much guaranteed. Gone. Cybernate Pony has eliminated that. That is pretty big. I mean, Cybernate Pony gets... He, he does this. And it's a thing that works really well on this map. So Cybernate Pony pulling that off nicely. Now jumping back to the 555 mark where Pony is in fact. Yeah, there he is. Getting rid of that. And also back in his base, he does have... more A couple more Lancers. He does have the wall off. Actually, this is when it got built. Looks like it got built later than before. And walling off the back ramp as well, making sure that all three ramps are walled off. Except this one here has a slight opening to let his own units through. Which is odd, because comm centers can fly. But anyway, but yeah, comm centers being cloaked while landed means that this wall is a pain in the butt to get rid of, because you have to have detectors in order to eliminate the wall, in order to even know it exists. And the last time I saw him do it, it actually didn't do much good. It was on Desecrated Temple, which is a map that would work really well for it. It just came up, and then it was bypassed. It was attacked by air. But it looks like... No Seppis are being built. Pure Octopod Rush. Monkuki going entirely for Octopod. Probably confused and annoyed that he doesn't know how to get tech, but... 
still designed just to go for Octopods. And since Octopods basically destroy ATCs, that's actually going to work out pretty well right now. Cybernating Pony, the main problem is the fact that only this ramp is open and this ramp has a very small gap. It's been massively thinned. Not closed off completely, just massively thinned. Which is a bit of a big deal. And another Octo coming in. More Octos coming in. It looks like they are being sent off to expand quickly. Going to the center west, a less safe expansion. That's actually more what Cybernating Pony would likely go for. But at the same time, it's closer there's no horizontal shift it's not diagonally across but it's also on the actually i guess it is closer okay never mind this is probably the safer expansion actually come to think of it it is closer it's not on the same side of the map but it is probably closer not on the same side sorry, vertically it is the same side horizontally or lengthwise and here comes moment of truth and the truth is octopus really don't do that well against turrets if Supported by Tornads going in one at a time. Truth is, units generally don't work out well going one at a time. And it looks like we have jumped back to the start of that battle. And Monkey might want to actually... I think he's going to try to pull all these Octopods together first. He needs to regroup these guys. I don't know why he isn't. He has an Arcticus commanding all of them. Just regroup. Monkey, what are you doing? Regroup. Uh, what is he doing anyway? He's getting Octos, but those are already built. Okay, there we go. Now he's regrouping. Taking this expansion, double-checking there's nothing there. And then... Then he can go for a direct attack, but I think even that's going to be iffy. Is he going to go for it? Oh, he's not going for it now. And Monkey looks like he's going to have to deal with some gate tech pretty soon. Macrofab is up. MFBs are coming in as well, but... Gate tech could come up any time now. Cybernetic Pony has more than enough money for that. And Monkey might also try to get Chrono Porting on his own. But and he, no, he's not because he now is getting a reef. Okay, right. Yeah, sorry. This is when you generally would see Chronoporium being built, and Monkey probably desperately wants it. And now, finally realizing that the reef is what he needs, he will be able to get air units. He will be able to get Chronoporting, and he will be able to actually play the game, as he, I'm sure he wanted to. There it is. Advanced structures likely to be built right now. There we go. Monkey gets it. Not too late, actually. Only a few minutes later than normal. Advanced Structures isn't usually built until about the 5-6 minute mark anyway. He could have gotten around the 4 minute mark, but the 9 minute mark isn't terribly late. It's late, yes, but it's not probably going to be game-destroyingly late. He does have the Octobods up. He can get rid of these units individually pretty well. And the Octobods are just hunting down expansions, making sure that if there were expansions, they're gone. And if he goes in directly, actually, if it weren't for the fact that these are walled off, that's the only problem. If he had... Oh, no, wait! Never mind! He has a far... Oh, that's a Seppi. Never mind. If that was a Faro, he'd be in perfect condition. If that was a Faro, that wall would mean nothing. He'd just go up to it and knock it right down, because he'd see it. However, the Octopods do have to set up for a fight. MFB coming in with tanks and Tornado. The MFB is a big thing, though. That's a big deal, because that's going to be... That's going to be the thing that's going to keep Cybernate Pony in the fight, given the unit compositions. There's... Monkey has the advantage for the unit count and power, but the MFB is just going to heal everything up, making life that much harder. The Oddbot's not going to have much of a chance. They are able to get rid of the Lance. No, not even able to get rid of the Lancer. Ouch. Okay, that that really does make a huge difference. It gets a Tornad. Tornad really does make a huge difference. That is true. However, Spire is up. Air units can be built. Chronoporting is being is being made. Monkey can now start chronoporting and has Sebi pods as well, so he is getting units to respond to this. Whatever potatoing he has done, he's well at least made up for it, or somewhat. He's getting his units up. He's getting the units he really needs. Getting the Sebi pods, no Faro pods yet, but the Sebi pods are also good given the composition that Cybernetic Pony is going for. This isn't a terrible idea. Faro pods on top of this would be useful, but the Sebi pods will get rid of the Tornads, leaving the Octopods free to just kill everything. And also get rid of the wall, because Sebi Pods can detect. And get rid of the Mar... Okay, the Mar Tanks, I really would suggest Faro Pods for that. Sebi Pods will work, but probably not quickly enough. And now the Sebi Pods go. Go, Sebi Pods. Do something. Well, eventually. Actually, it does seem that Cybernetic Pony will be losing out this... Or will be taking out this expansion. Monkey just not able to do much with it. And Cybernetic Pony is... Getting a bit distracted, though. Looks like at the same time we do have... Well, tank Octopod fight, but unfortunately being jumped away from. Monkey does not want to deal with that fight. And Cybernetic Pony is... 
able to get rid of this expansion without issue, and actually this tank no longer in the center of the map. So Monkuki has lost his secondary expansion, but his main base is pretty healthy. Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, has mined out his main base, completely mined out, only has Q-Plasma coming in, and even then, only briefly. So Cybernetic Pony is considerably weaker economically, and here comes! Monkuki is coming in with his own forces. Cybernetic do come in, and regrouping with the Octopus, they can attack, well, once... Well, now, actually, yeah. Move with the Articus. Have an Articus move in, and that will get rid of everything. Why? Okay, instead of just... Instead of doing that, going around entirely. Just force... Going to be forcing Cybernetic Pony to either counterattack or try to defend his base. But Cybernetic Pony is not... Not doing anything yet. Not being forced to respond. Monkey has not attacked yet. Waiting for the Octopods to regroup. This is why I suggested getting Pharaopods. Or suggest getting Pharaopods in this case. Sebi Faro pair... Or Sebi Fa... Sibipod Pharopod pair is awesome because they move at roughly the same speed, or much closer in speed than Octopod and Sibipod, because Sibipods are really blindingly fast. Now Monkuki has regrouped, now we can go for the attack. Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, back at his base, has two frigates, three Tornads, Twin Mar. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky to get through. I don't think Monkuki has the force. Monkuki does not have the forces to get through this. Maybe if he's clever and attacks from an angle at a really inopportune time for Saturday Night Pony, he might have a chance. If he goes around... If he goes around the corner here, Chrono boards back, and attacks, gets rid of the wall, and pushes through, getting rid of the importers, and kills everything else, that might work. And Monkey is actually intercepting these RPs. That is... That is a big deal. If he gets rid of the RPs, that's gonna force Cyber Night Pony's hand, and Cyber Night Pony is moving in. He does have nowhere near enough forces to actually deal with this. Tornad is coming in, but that's not gonna do much. Tornad, MFB, and Tank coming in as well. And that's also going to do very little. MFB goes down first, which is exactly what he needs to do, but then again, that's what the AI is coded to do. And more Tornads coming in to try to defend against this, but that is not going to work. The Sepipod's way too effective against this. The tanks are powerful anti-air, but the Octopods are going to deal with this. And altogether, these Sepipods and everything, it's just not working out. The Frigate's coming in to try to deal with the Sepipods. That is going to do some good, but at the same time, the Sepipod's still able to get rid of the Tornads, and the Octopod able to get rid of the tank. And this Tornad going down as well. And the second Frigate back in the base. The Twin Mar back in the base. I think Cybernetic Pony is... He's not doing anything. I shouldn't even speculate. We're looking at his point of view. He hasn't done anything with that Twin Mar yet. But he has won the fight. He has secured the path for his RPs. So ultimately, that worked out. He lost one RP, but still, his economy is going to be solid again. Pretty soon. While Monkuki has to entirely rebuild. Getting far pause this time, however. And... That's not a good timing. The Tornads are detectors, and the Pharopods won't do especially well, unfortunately. They could, I suppose, harass, but even then they'd start harassing, the Tornads would come in, and then it wouldn't work out too well. Pharopod, Sippypod pair, that will work, but it's... Oh. Okay, well, sorry, I was noticing in the chat someone's having, Catalyze having issues watching with the stream, but then Twitch has a tendency to be kind of wonky sometimes. So anyway, with... Two Farbots, two Sepipods, this is going to be challenging. Clever Tactics might win the day, but... Hey, there's a Clever Tactic! Chronoport! Yeah, that'll work. Or, should work, anyway. So it looks like Monkuki is going to try to reinforce the attack we just saw before. This attack right here. With the Octopods and Sepipods, with Farbots! At the same time, Sepipods coming in here, which won't actually do any good. This Sepipod probably was meant to have been Chronoported back. And Chronoported back it shall be! Or not. Why is it not being Chronoported? Come on! Chronoport, you! Well, anyway, when it is, we'll come back to it. Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, a couple minutes, or half minute ahead of that. He does have... Actually, I should focus on Monkuki. Monkuki does have his forces arrive. They are... Well, one of the Sippipods is coming in here. It will help out a bit to get rid of this Tornad, but it's not gonna... No, it's gonna kill the Tornad. Just barely, though. But yes, it does manage to kill this one Tornad. Helping out that force. This The Frigate coming in here is gonna kill it, though. And the second Tornad... Yeah, the Frigate doesn't even have to try. It just outright kills it. I mean, Frigates are quite powerful units, really. And this turn, However, these two Tornads are going to lose out. This first Tornad is going to die, and the second Tornad won't have enough firepower. The tank is the only support available that will work, but even then, Monkuki apparently is still dealing damage. He does get through this from the look of the timeline. Now, Cybernetic Pony is getting Gatek of his own. He's getting Gatek of his own, and that's going to be a big deal. Now, Monkuki... As Chronoport back, Farpod, Sepipod as well, and that's gonna get rid of this MFB nicely. Though the Farpod not cloaked at the time. However, the wall is being destroyed as well, and the Twinmar is. Well, it's. 
coming out. It's coming in the open. It's going to be used eventually, but yeah, Monkey still has to deal with the fact that there's a lot of defenses here. Cybernetic Pony did not skimp on the defense budget. He has three turrets in his main base. Everything's fully covered. In fact, yeah, as you can see with... Oh, we can't... Can we not select all three at once? What the heck? Okay, I guess not. Anyway. Yeah, Monkey did not... Sorry, Cybernetic Pony did not skimp on defenses. He is well covered. And he has a Chrono Porter as well. It's recharging, but at this point, Monkey double-checking what happens in the Implable Past... Farbaugh is doing a pretty good job. If he, he wants to harass this, that's the thing. He really wants to harass this. Getting rid of this RP is good, but the LCRPs are... These are Cybernetic Pony's only working LCRPs. If Monkey gets rid of those, Cybernetic Pony has nothing going for it. He has two RPs worth of resources, and that's it. Actually, I'm going to think that that's only Q-Plasma income as well, but still. Cybernetic Pony is running short on money. These RPs are empty. Or these containers just are empty. Not mining anything from there. This Q Plasma crate is not being mined out. Cybernetic Pony has no Q Plasma income at the moment. Though he is seeking to rebuild, he has LC income here. Probably going to rebuild that at some point. And a Twin Mar moving in as a counter attack. And a Twin Mar is on its own a counter attack. This is going to be pretty scary. I think Monkuki is going to have a hard time dealing with this. He's going to try though. What is Monkuki up to? At the 1835 mark, he's getting a couple more Pharopods. His RPs will scout out the Twin Mar and probably distract it. There it is, distracting the Twin Mar, slowing it down. That's exactly what he needs to do. That Twin Mar, it needs to not kill those RPs, basically. The Farbots, however, look like they're being upper. They're being used for an uppercut. They are not attacking directly. Or they're not defending against this Twin Mar. They're being attacked. Yeah, they're being chronoported back from the looks of it. And there they go, chronoporting back the Farbots, and it looks like they will be. Going in for nice harassment. Okay, he's going to get rid of this LCRP set. That is good. Cybernetic Pony losing more resources. That is good for Monkey. That is bad for Cybernetic Pony. But Cybernetic Pony, he has chronoporting of his own now. He has the chronoporter up. It is recharged. He can chronoport whenever he likes. Defending against this harassment. Stop it from happening at all. And that is... That is going to be... Well, it, basically. Well, it looks like Cybernetic Pony is still at the advantage. The economy is the main thing. Monkey needs to harass this out, but Cybernetic Pony has a frigate here, just in case to defend. No detection, though. But he does have a frigate there. However, back at the center east base, he has lost it. Pharopods have destroyed that base successfully, and he is not chronoported back to deal with that. Not as of yet, anyway. He might eventually, but he hasn't quite yet. And Monkey, jumping back to the 1743 mark, just retreating to get rid of the Twin Mar. Definitely the thing to do. So, Cybernetic Pony has definitely the army, but I don't know about the money. Getting a second Twin Mar, though. Sorry, yeah, it is money. That's the big problem. He has Liquid Crystal. He does have more. All of his RPs coming in now, getting out of his base. Around this expansion here. And he does have a Tornado for detection, so this base is safe. Monkuki cannot easily harass this base. He'd have to dedicate a lot of forces to do so. And Monkuki has been... Bert, he's been clever with the chronopores, but that's all he's had, really, is uppercuts. He's lost his army pretty much every time he's done it. In fact, where are his Farabods? Nope, Farabods are not here. Yeah, he has lost his army once again. He has nothing. Okay, these two Farabods, that's it. No Sepipods, no legal class units of any sort, no money for that either. Monkuki has pretty much run out of momentum, and this expansion was destroyed. Cybernetic Pony removed it at the beginning of the game. And... Once again, Mongo is sending back some Farbots to harass, but I think that's going over here. Which won't help too much. Unless it's going over here, in which case it will actually help, because these are all Marines. They are not special ops, so Farbots would be able to do stuff. They wouldn't They wouldn't be spotted out. Hunmar is going to go down, though. That is a useful defense. Mongo has defended very nicely against that particular Twinmar. But a second one was coming in, and that's still going to be a problem. I don't know where it is, though. This particular point in time, jumping back to the 2111 mark... I don't think it's actually there. Never mind. Okay. Forget it. However, a Blackbird's being built. Interesting. We have not seen a Blackbird in a very long time. It is a cloaking healer, by the way. For those of you who have not watched this in a while, or just to remind myself, Blackbird's cloak now, so this is... This is huge. The change is huge. The Blackbird itself is not. The Blackbird actually has not been used at all since that change. It hasn't really been used since... Very much since beta, honestly. It's just not used very much. That was one of the reasons for the cloak change, but... 
I don't know. Anyway, Farbot's being destroyed. Cybernetic Pony is opening this right up. He hasn't chronoported back anything yet, but it looks like he's going to chronoport back this Tornad, and I think this is going to win them the game. Yep, Tornad being chronoported back. Moving in. It's it's going to go for it. Well, eventually. It is going to go for that kill, though. There is nothing in the base to defend. Monkey has quite a bit of Liquid Crystal. Surprisingly, not spending it on Seppies or Faros. Not spending it on any base class units. He's just... That can't be right. I don't know what he's doing. But he has a lot of Liquid Crystal and nothing to spend it on. Or nothing he is spending it on. And given that he's completely out of resources, yeah, he's just... All he can really do is go for a massive base class push. And hope for the best with that, but he's not even doing that. I'm a little surprised. Maybe lack of Chrono Energy? That's the only thing that comes to mind as a reason. But yeah, he's got to do something. He has a lot of resources in the bank, and this is the time to use them if there's any time to use them. I mean, he does have Cube Plasma coming in, so he's got some extra income. He can build some more area units pretty soon, but even then, that's not that soon. That's not going to be an easy thing to do, so... Oh. Anyway, that's not going to be easy, but it looks like this is still going to be pretty much game, I think. Cyber Pony doesn't have much going for him right now, and yeah, pretty soon this is going to be it. So I do not anticipate much... Actually, wait, no! Never mind, what am I saying? This is actually... There is a bit of a change. Harassment in the Northwest has been effective. Sorry about that, I apologize. <sighs> I apologize if the stream does silly things right now. Firefox just went and crashed and restarted and... Yeah, it's getting in my way. Now is not the time. Anyway, back to the game. So Monkey apparently actually has managed to successfully uppercut and harass out with Cybernetic Pony, so whatever I said about Cybernetic Pony being destined to win this game was entirely... Well, actually not entirely wrong, because the, his main base, Monkey's main base is still pretty much in shambles, and Cybernetic Pony's main base is quite healthy. He's got a lot of stuff in it. It would take a while to knock him down, and also his RPs are going down, but he has a fair amount of money in the bank. He has reserves. He can build more units. He can build more RPs if he needs to. And at the same time, he's basically destroying everything that Monkey has built. And Monkey has no resources. He has nothing to build with. And this is at the 20 through 20, 12 mark. This is back in the unplayable past. Monkey has nothing. Well, actually, not entirely true. He d is starting to chronoport back some units. He is trying to basically desperately save himself by way of chronoports. But we are going to go into Paradox Country pretty soon. And that is a dangerous country to be in, especially since Monkey is kind of losing. Going back, getting that Sepipod back, though. It's going to get rid of the Tornad. Too late, though. This is no Paradox Country. There is no Paradox to be had. Monkey has already lost his base. Cybernetic Pony. Not going to lose anything to this. This far pod trying to do what it can, but the turrets, just too much. Two turrets right next to each other. Going to get rid of the far pod, no problem. So, yeah, not much more to be said. Seven Pony has basically won this without even using chronoports. And looks, no, he has used chronoports. Never mind. This is his point of view. He has chronoported. And doesn't much matter, though. I mean, see, okay, chronoport back this Tornad. Even then, though, it's... I mean, he actually lost all these RPs already, so it's a little bit late. But still, the main base is down. The Sepipod never chronoported back, ultimately, and Monkey has lost this game. So that is game. That's it. That is entirely... everything. So that, I hope you enjoyed this, and... I... Well... I guess that's not much more to be said. I... Just, yeah, Monkey realizes it's game, so this definitely is game. There's not much more to be said here. So I'll just speed it up until... Oh, seriously gonna let it resolve? It just, it's not gonna resolve. There's no paradox. No paradox will resolve in your favor. So, there we go. Eliminated. Completely gone. That was game. Hope you enjoyed that. And that is going to be it for me tonight. So, thank you all for watching, everybody, and... Have a good night.